Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. So, since I covered research yesterday, I think I'm going to go over buildings today and talk about, well, talk a little bit about the new ones and a little bit about uh, other things that you can possibly do to get your uh, stats up and all that by uh, just doing buildings. Alright, so let's see, where should we begin? Um, now, of course, different setups require different building layouts and all that so I'm just gonna go over my regular thing for bad gear traps, canal traps, hero lifts, all that I use pretty much the same building setups for all that which is 20 or more barracks at least and then just one of each of these buildings or if you guys don't mind you can tear these down and replace it with barracks if you're not gonna upgrade for a while that's completely up to you. I'm just leaving one of each so I can uh, upgrade to 29 eventually. There's no point in tearing it down just for a couple little points of defense. I'm not in uh, in need of defense or I would do that, but if you guys are striving for every uh, little bit you can get, uh, you can do that and tear some buildings down if, if that's not going to be a problem for you guys. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, let's, let's talk about the new ones first. Uh, you got this Pantheon thing over here, which that does not help at all during defense, so there's really no point in going over what this actually does. So I'm just going to skip that one. Uh, the Archaeology bit, well, Archaeology Hall is pretty easy to upgrade now. I think it only takes one pack to actually get it up to 20. Maybe two packs, something like that. But it's pretty easy to upgrade now, and that gives you a little bit of attack and health. So if you guys were to actually buy a pack, uh, recently or anything and you just had these things sitting around want to know if you should upgrade it it's really up to you guys with uh, hero 80 being out now this will probably be a little bit more beneficial to have for that attack because they have so much more health and defense at 80 it's it's gonna be hard to kill it a little bit for the smaller guys so it yeah you guys should probably start working on this if you haven't it is a little bit of uh, a little bit expensive, so be sure to get a blessing when you guys do this. Alright, um, let's do the potion. So they took this one up the other day. Now, this is actually pretty nice to have. If you guys can actually upgrade it, you would have to go to Stronghold 27 and all that. But if you guys are already 27, 28, 29, uh, where, wherever you're at, this is definitely a helpful building to upgrade if you have the pieces for it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say go out and buy a pack just for this, but it is helpful to have because of what it adds. At 27, it adds 2,000 attack, 300 health, and uh, 300 defense. And then at 28, 650 defense, 650 health, and 4,200 attack. And then it just gets even higher after that. I'm not sure what it is, 29. Uh, 6,500 attack, 1,050 defense and health, and then 1,500, and so on and so forth. Now, that's pretty nice, but it only applies if you have the potion on, so you have to keep, have, so you have to apply the potion to actually uh, get those stats, which isn't so bad, um, especially if you're only going to unshield for like a kill event or something, and you have your potion running for that time. But for you guys that are going to be running a potion all the time, that would be uh, pretty helpful. Well, more helpful to you guys than someone that's only going to use it in a kill event or something. But anyways, that is a very nice thing to have. That's another 1,000 defense if you can get a 29, uh, but you don't have to get it that far. 27 would be fine. That's an extra 300% for you guys that are looking for just uh, every possible boost that you can get. Um, let's see. Right, that's pretty much it for uh, that building. Um, I don't think there is any new ones that really benefit traps. Uh, the workshop went up, but that only uh, helps cores. I wish they took the uh, the regular gear up as well. I wish they went to 20, but they don't, of course. Only cores went to 20. So that would have been a nice addition. That would have made it more appealing to traps to go for but uh, I guess that's not in MZ's plan to uh, kind of make traps actually want one of the new releases instead of only a rally leader wanting it but oh well anyways um, let's see so Stronghold 30 came out the other week 
and it's really personal preference if you guys want to actually upgrade some people like to stay at stronghold 26 and lower than that just because uh, it gets some hits sometimes but actually if you guys upgrade your stronghold it's not really going to scare away too many hits now if you was to take all your buildings and everything to level 30 that would probably scare away some people but if you guys go up to 27 28 it's not really going to bug anybody that's not really going to scare away very many hits if any at all so it would be fine to actually go to 28 if you guys wanted to but uh I'm not saying go out and spend right now just so you could do that. I'm just saying if you guys have bought a pack recently and actually have the brass rods just laying around, it's not a bad thing to upgrade your stronghold to 27, 28, maybe even 29 if you had that many rods. But if you guys are going to upgrade your buildings, the main ones, of course, that you want to go for is uh, your embassy, watchtower, your walls, and... Uh, I'm not sure if you want to do your barracks or your altar first. I'd probably say go for barracks first if you guys uh, go ahead and get your embassy and all that done first. Just use your uh, extra columns on barracks and altar if you have that. Your main concern is your uh, embassy, watchtower, and walls. Um, so yeah, it's... It's really personal preference if you guys want to uh, upgrade your stronghold that high, guys. It's not really going to scare anybody away. And as for these buildings, if you guys are actually going to keep them, uh, the orb boosts on these are not a bad thing to go for, too. It's going to give you a little bit of attack on this one for cavalry. Uh, for the hospital, you can get some health out of this. I don't really bother with it, but if you guys were... Uh, going to keep this you might as well boost it a little bit and get something out of it that's going to give you some health if you uh, boost it enough your academy if you guys keep this which um, you guys don't actually have to have this uh, later on you can tear this down it doesn't take your research away or anything like that your research and all that stays you just won't get the uh, orb boost or nothing like that from it and you'd have to build it back if you ever decided to do research again or boost on this will give you defense debuff will, and that will help you kill the march a little bit better but they don't really have a whole lot of defense anyways so that would be up to you guys if you want to uh, boost this building any and uh, Hall of War is completely useless for a trap to have I mean it or boost on it ain't really all that great either so it would be it's completely up to you guys if you want to keep it or not it's just too expensive to tear down, so I'm just going to leave it right there. And I'm super close to having it 28, which is all I need to go to 29 on my stronghold. Uh, let's see. Forge. You can get a lot of troop health out of this one. Marketplace is health debuff. This one is very nice to have if you guys uh, have a marketplace. You can boost this one up and get some health debuff, which they are running a massive amount of health lately. It's just going through the roof on health, which is making it very hard to kill 50 million marches for the uh, smaller guys. So this would be a little bit helpful to have. Now, it wouldn't be as helpful as having a just normal barracks, but if you guys are not going to tear your buildings down, it's definitely helpful to uh, do the orb boost on this one. A uh, barrack actually gives more health debuff than this, so it would be more beneficial to have that. But... If you guys are not going to tear them down, be sure to do the orbs on the marketplace. Uh, the villa, get some troop attack out of that. I don't really bother with it, but if you guys are going to keep it, you might as well boost it a little bit. Alright, uh, Gymnos, uh, get some infantry attack or something out of that if you guys uh, are going to keep that. Alright, now, as far as other buildings or boost wise. All your barracks, your walls, and well, no, not the watchtower. But your barracks and your walls, you guys are going for the highest possible defense on or boost that you can get. Which at luck 27? Yeah, 27, 28, and uh, 29 if you can get it there. But anyways, 27 and up, it should be fairly easy to get 100 plus defense if you can get it to 27 or higher on luck level. Uh, the barracks, um, 
you're looking for a good 20 plus defense on those if you guys can get it there but first before you try to push them all to that luck level I mean well yeah that defense level go around and get at least 10 percent on each of them that should be fairly easy to do but um, after you do that you can try to push some of them even higher than that and you're looking for 20 plus on, um, 20 plus on each of them but be sure to go through and get at least 10 on each, uh, each of them before you try to do that. That's going to waste a lot of orbs trying to get one of them very high when you can go around and get a couple of them fairly high for pretty much uh, nothing compared to what it's going to cost to take it higher than that. Uh, let's see. On your embassy, uh, it's really personal preference. I would probably go for this one, but uh, if you guys can get it to... 30 or higher on this embassy defense bonus I would say keep it but if you guys do happen to land on a massive defense uh, defense boost stick with that if you want to but I would personally go for the embassy defense so yeah uh, let's see what else watchtower I'm not sure how high this actually goes I think it's a couple hundred for attack debuff at luck level 30 but that that's a lot of orbs I'm not sure how high that actually goes, so I would say just go for as high as you can get it, uh, as far as you guys want to take it, but focus on your defense orbs first for uh, all that good stuff. Alright, so I think I covered mostly everything. Uh, alter. Uh, alter, you can get a defense bonus on this. I think you can get an attack and something else as well. I would go for the defense one, which is... an uh, usually a pain to get it to land on defense but if you guys can uh, get a decent amount out of it you know, go for that alt I mean uh, prison only gives an attack bonus I think which uh, isn't really all that helpful but if you guys have it go ahead and uh, boost it a little bit at least all right I think that's pretty much it for uh, or boosts and buildings to have which is basic layout 20 plus barracks and one of each if you guys want to or just have more barracks there and main buildings to upgrade if you guys are going to go up uh, embassy watchtower and walls and that's pretty much it for buildings guys and if you guys need more explanation or are running a different setup and need some more help with or boost or something that you would want to go for like a health trap or some kind of hybrid or something like that for uh, building wise just uh, leave a comment or contact me and online or something like that and I'll uh, help you guys out if I can thanks for watching the video guys I will see you in the next one hopefully this was helpful